Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to Slay the Spire. Let's play Silent. Why not Ironclad? Because we're on Ascension 20, I believe, as the Ironclad. And we're, we haven't... It feels like we haven't won with the Silent in a long time. I want to try to give this another shot and see what happens. I'm going to go Common Relic, Tiny Chest. Tiny Chest! Pretty interesting. If we can... It's also 30 gold when you pick it up. If we can hit a lot of question marks, we might be happy. If we get a lot of, of free relics out of it, um, we're just going to get a little bit more gold. Ten... No, you don't get more gold. You only get more treasure. Okay, well, yeah, let's go heavy question mark path then. I would certainly love to be able to pick up some free relics. Even if it means we skip a... A... Um, an elite being able to pick up a relic might just pay for itself. Dude, this is a kind of awful, but at least we're taking the damage. Hmm. I can't kill him. I can kill one, block, take no damage. Dude, I I will say I kind of hate the silent starter deck because it is so slow when you have nothing added to it. At least with the Ironclad, you have Bash, you can kill things quickly. At least with the Defect, you have a dual cast and the Zap. Frickin' Silent is just far too slow. Heal Hook. If the enemy has weak, gain energy and draw one card. Well, if we could get two Heal Hooks in the deck, remove every strike and defend, we win because we play infinite Heal Hooks. Yes, I know, that is a synergy. It's the same thing with Dropkick, but it's real hard to actually make that happen. Backflip. Gives us an upgrade target, it's a block, it's draw, I'll take it. Guria. Incentivizes a Shiv deck, which I I would be willing to do as well. Um, but yeah, I think backflip is fine. It's not like a 10 out of 10, but at least you get a little bit of card draw from it. But Guria, and now I gotta think. Camp? Camp. Camp. We could get three strength up by the end of the end of the floor, but we would skip most elites. Is that worth it, you think? Do you think we should skip the elites in order to get strength up? I kinda think we should, because would we be happy getting Vyra out of an elite? Yeah. I would be happy getting Vyra out of an elite. Being able to skip the elites and just get three strength upgrades could be just amazing. And we could get a couple of, um... Lovely. We could get a couple of strengths and then fight an elite being stronger. You know, I kind of like that a lot. Because it's Hexaghost, if we heal up before then we can just, uh, get the last strength upgrade at the end. But, uh, I, I don't really care about fighting an elite right now when I can get two strength and then fight an elite and just be better off, right? I don't know, it's weird. It's um it's an interesting relic because you you have to lose campfires to gain benefit from it. Because right now you gain literally no benefit from it. Just gonna wait and hope we get three attacks, I suppose. Take three damage, wait and hope that we get three attacks, please. Okay, two attacks and a neutralize, thank you! Oh my lord. Good freaking god. If we're getting strength, backstab makes sense. So we're gonna lift. I think we're gonna lift twice and then fight the elite with, um... With no other upgrades. And no resting. I feel like that could be okay. Kinda hate this, but... 18 block. We can, we can block everything coming in, so I think we just do that. Is it blocking everything that's coming in? Yes, but just 
Barely. They're still attacking, which does suck, but... We can knock out damage, knock out damage, and I'd, I don't want to take 8 damage. I'll use the potion for it. I know we could save this for the elite fight, but ideally, the elite fight is going to be easy because we're going to have 2 strength up. What's my highest ascension level? I'm currently on Ironclad 20, Silent 17, Defect 17. There you go. So yeah, let's fight one elite. Let's see what happens. It is the elite we do not want to fight, but it is what it is. We'll just try to hit him as hard as we can. Um, he's gonna hit for random on turn one. Sometimes he can hit for... Um, Sometimes he can hit for 8 doing the vulnerability on turn 1. He decided not to this time. We will live if we draw enough attacks. <laughs> Which I don't know if we're going to. Let's hope. Oh, please. Thank you. Preserved Insect, Ancient Potion, Accuracy, Backstab, All-Out Attack. I'm going to take another Backstab. I know the Accuracy is pre-upgraded. We want to put in Shivs in the deck, but... I also feel like I just want to be able to do as much damage as possible quickly, and we still have Ring of the Snake, so replacing the two cards with two backflips is pretty good. It's good damage. I'm not going to complain about that, I don't think. Frail. We can't put up block as easily, but he's weak, so we can put up enough block. You're dead. Riddle with Holes is amazing. I'm gonna heal, and I'm just gonna bounce to the shop. Let's see if the shop has anything that we want. You know, Regal Pillow is actually quite nice. Infinite Blades is also amazing. Riddle with Holes is great. 173 plus 86. We can't afford both Regal Pillow and Infinite Blades. I don't want to heal before Hexaghost. Um, I think you go Infinite Blades. <laughs> and I know we could get another Riddle with Holes, but instead I'm just going to remove the curse. It's going to cost us 3 max HP, but, you know, we, we did that for a heal anyways. Let's move on. <laughs> Good lord. Okay, well, I guess we're not going to get our third strength upgrade on this floor. We'll get it on the next floor. I think I will fight the elites on the next floor with Preserved Insect. I feel like that's okay. Um, and then we're just gonna hope that we can live through this fight. It's gonna be a little... a little tough. I think you, get, you gotta hit him. What else would we want in the deck? Well, more strength, uh, more shiv enablers, upgraded shiv cards would be fantastic. We also want things like Shuriken and Kunai. Um, four energy would be lovely. Upgraded cards and better blocks. Did I mention the better cards? But a Terror would be a big one. We're, we're very physical in our damage right now. block. I would like to put up 12 block. We might have to try to block for 36 in like a turn and a half, which is a little scary. Unfortunately, we drew all of our defense on this turn. Um, this is his, his big turn, 30. We're dead. Man, that is, that is very unfortunate. I was, I was really looking forward to seeing if we could actually make a strength shift deck work, but it just takes too long to get Gurya set up. You have to you have to spend not only the relic collection event on it, but you also have to get three campfires and uh, spend the time at the campfire lifting. It's a little a little slow, but it is good. Okay, remove a card. Max HP plus six. Max HP plus twelve. Or obtain a random boss relic. Boss. Lizard tail. I kind of like it. I think that this is probably more valuable than the 
Oh my god, three elite path on the left or two elite path down the middle? Let's go uh, three elite path on the left. I think it might be a little bit more valuable than the the bag of prep, in my own personal opinion. Although I know that people do not agree. Some people do not agree on that. Taking six damage. You know, if you had bag of prep, oh, you can you can draw more, and then you can actually. Uh, you know, get your get your uh, survivor. Maybe have a better chance of blocking all of the damage coming in. Yeah, I mean that's true, but at least Lizard Tail, if we die, will you know not actually be dead. Sundial. I don't like this relic, and I actually have um, a reason why I don't like it. I thought about it, and I think the reason why I don't like Sundial is that it doesn't activate when you finish combat. You actually have to shuffle in combat. Which means that more often than not, I'm not getting a lot of energy out of it, or it's not shuffling that often. Especially in quick fights. You know, if I have a 20 card deck and I can kill the enemy by turn... 4, then I'm not getting any value out of Sundial. I will... you know what? I'll take it. Maybe we'll get lucky and have card removal. I'll just take the max HP. The full heal would have probably also been worth it, but it was a little bit of an over heal. I guess I'm just gonna wait for poison. Which honestly is how I wanna open up with Lagavulin, I think, anyways. The poison is really good damage against him. I don't even need to attack now. We basically have one and a half free strikes every turn. Now, unfortunately. He's gonna. Re He's only gonna lower my dex and strength by one. He's not that bad. Keep forgetting this is not Ascension 18. Well, at least we have one extra energy on this turn, and then that also happens, especially in the silent deck. You know, you get one extra, one extra energy or two extra energy, but you have extra energy at the end of the turn because you just couldn't do anything with it. This is a bit of a long Lagavulin fight, but he is going to die. Predator, Acrobatics, Backflip. Well... We haven't added in any blocks. Would be nice to add in more attacks. I'm just going to go Predator because it's, it's a big heavy hitting attack. And I'm probably just going to do a quick rest and then we'll fight the next two elites and then hope that we can survive them because there's no rest in between them. This is a bad turn one draw. Warg. And this guy is going to make me vulnerable, which means we have to kill him in two turns. No, he's going to make me vulnerable again. He's an idiot. He's not Ascension 18, so he has really poor AI. Man, being weak sucks. It means we need three attacks and a, uh, a neutralize, or a, a skewer would do it, I suppose. Take a tools of the trade. Lagavulin. I was kind of. I don't know if I was hoping that we would fight the. Uh... I don't know if I was hoping we would fight the sentries, but. I guess with this guy, we can just put our powers out there and or play Deadly Poison. Which I suppose we just play, because it's our. One of our best damage dealers. I will drink the potion because we I think we have to to survive. We're gonna take six. And if we ever don't block perfectly, we are dead. I guess we don't have to have perfect block. We do have to have good block though. Take one. Dump the doubt. I'm not as worried about that doubt being in the deck because of tools of the trade. Would still suck if we drew. Good enough. It would still suck if we drew it before we drew Tools of the Trade, but that's okay. Yeah. Alright, well, we'll start up another one. Oh, no, Tools of uh, Lizard Tail. <laughs> Already forgot about it. Okay, so we went aggressive. We picked up Happy Flower. I think a Caltrops. And we, lo we lost our lizard tail, but I guess, you know, that's kind of why we had it, right? We had it so that we could be a little bit more aggressive.
That one comedian? No, I have not thought about using nuclear throne together. I don't know if I will. Something to consider, though. Probably gonna play Predator. Just for damage. Yeah, we could have played Caldrops for damage, but... That's still good. Bane, Concentrate, Masterful Stab. Backflip, Outmaneuver, Flying Knee. Kinda don't like any of these cards, but I'll take a backflip and a Masterful Stab. I know we're adding cards into the deck, but I think we need to. Let's go to the shop. Shovel, huh? Dude, Clockwork Souvenir is so good, but I understand the shovel is amazing because you can get relics without having to, uh, to fight for them. However, wouldn't you rather up- you want to upgrade cards as well. Dude, I think I'm gonna go Clockwork Souvenir because I know it's fantastic and we'll try to just, like, add cards as we go. There's not even any necessarily, you know, large guarantee that we're gonna have a good opportunity to make the shovel work. You never know if we're just gonna run across a, a path on the next floor that has no, um, no, uh, rest points. Could happen. I will take one damage. Now, Masterful Stab, it's an interesting choice. It might not always work. It's fine. It might not always work, but uh, at least if we draw it early, we're gonna be happy to have it. Well, <laughs> we're gonna take five damage and Masterful Stab will be worth one. Play this for four, I can kill you. You know what? We are getting some value out of Sundial, I think. Or is it Art of War? But how many, oh, it's Art of War combined with Happy Flower. Sometimes I am having five energy on a turn. It's very strange. Gonna take another seven. I wish I could do something about it. Gonna take another eight. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. I don't. I don't have good faith in this. In this run right now, we will rest. We'll see if we can't kill the boss. But honestly, I kind of just want to do a restart right now. Not because I'm salty or anything, but more it's that I, I want to get as good of an opening start as possible. You know. Well, I mean, defends. I don't, we either flip him or we die. So let's play Predator. He's not going to flip. We have to play Skewer. I was kind of hoping to get the, the Caltrops out, but. Dump the. Dump the Neutralize. I don't care about it. Good enough. Managed to do a little bit of damage as well. Well, we're gonna take one. If we're gonna take one, I might as well take more just to get the, uh, the poison out. Take eight instead. Roll on this turn. I can do 28 damage, not nearly enough, unless... Oh, I guess we could just, you know, get plus five strength permanently. <laughs> Which does mean that there is a, um, a relic out there that we would like to get. It's the relic that um, gives you plus three strength at the beginning of combat. That would be wonderful because it would mean that we get plus three strength every combat forever. It would actually be quite interesting to have. Twelve damage. I will hit you at once. Mutagenic strength. Yeah, whatever it is. It would be a nice one to have at this point. 
it would just be a um, it would be a Guria that we don't have to actually like fiddle for. It'd be a Guria that's basically given to us, <laughs> which is nice if you think about it like that. I will take a malaise. Yes, adrenaline is, adrenaline is amazing, but uh, I think the malaise is just wonderful because we're going to want to have the strength reduction and the weakness for many enemies. Now, yes, I took Fusion Hammer. No, I don't like taking Fusion Hammer right there. I'd prefer to be able to still do some upgrades. But I'll be perfectly honest with you, I think we're in a very rough spot and we need to play a little bit aggressive on the... on the relic choices. You know, we, maybe, we'll, maybe we'll find an apotheosis and somehow be able to make it innate. That's the dream, of course. I don't even think, like, Toxic Egg and the other egg are necessarily worth having. I mean, they would be nice to have, but I think the problem with those is that they would be a little too slow. Like, we already have a 23 card deck, nothing is upgraded. Literally no card right now is upgraded, which is basically exactly not... Should've just played Masterful Stab. It's it, the exact inverse of what I want. I would prefer to have a fully upgraded deck right now, but of course we don't. God, that, that fight just absolutely sucked. Poison Stab, Blade Dance, Sneaky Strike. Accuracy, we have literally zero Shiv cards. Uh, 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 skip. Might want to just play like liquid bronze here. Maybe the power potion? What can we get? Get after image out there. A little bit of extra block, I think, is going to matter here. You'd think that with Prayer Wheel, you'd have a good deck. I mean, we only got it at the midpoint of last floor, and we're still just not get. I mean, it's not that we're... Ha I, I think... It's a combination of relics and cards. You need both. Should have played that in a different order so we could hit the plated armor. You need both, and I feel like we don't necessarily have... Um, good cards or necessarily good relics like we have energy relics Almost exclusively except for letter opener and clockwork souvenir, which is just like okay at best Okay at best in our particular situation, you know, we don't have any combat relics really Man, I can't even punch the plated armor at all right now um like, the best thing that we have, at least on this fight, was just that one malaise. <laughs> we had a lot of energy to play it, and that let us live in this combat. Like, I just I just don't even know what to add. What do you add in? Adding in, like, a, a non-upgraded Cloak and Dagger doesn't help that much. Receive three Apparition. I mean, if they were upgraded, yes, but... I really don't like losing most of your HP, half of your HP, really, for that. Well... We're gonna take... 12? <laughs> and unfortunately, he hit us with Frailty, which means that we will not be able to actually pick up the uh, Vulnerability Protection from this guy, which is what I was really hoping we'd be able to get. So I'm actually just going to play another defend. He's doing 20, not that bad. Uh, we have no blocks though, we can make him weak at least. So we're not dead. But yeah, like, this is essentially just a base level deck with a couple of extra cards thrown in. Which is not good enough. 
But you know what? It's fine. We'll just restart and we'll do another one. I know I'm, I'm being a little bit, oh, we're gonna die, but we're gonna die. <laughs> if not on this fight, on the next one. And I really, I really don't like Fusion Hammer. I, I took it because I think it was the best thing in that particular situation for us, but... I guess we'll just keep resting. Fight the Burning Elite? You know, it's... Oh my god, we're gonna... We're gonna not die. I'm gonna pop the uh, Intangibility Potion on this turn. But, um... Yeah, we might fight the Burning Elite. If it is the Book of Stabbing and he has Strength up, it's not that bad because we have Malaise, but it is still pretty bad. How much is Slay the Spire luck-based luck based versus skill-based? I don't know. Honestly, considering how hard of a time I have I find it to win, it's, uh, freaking I don't know. I mean, this'll kill him. Yes, we could have malazed him for, like, negative eight or something, but... Give me a burst, give me a, uh, give me a nothing. We'll do another rest, we'll fight this elite. And honestly, I'm fighting him just because I want to, <laughs> at this point. It's like, let's see what the deck can do. Well... It's very unfortunate. Instead, we're just going to remove a strike. Gremlin Leader starts with plus three strength. Probably... Probably one of the worst case scenarios for us, let's be honest. And kill one. Put up some block. Malaise and weaken him so he's weak on the next turn because there's like a 50-50 chance he'll attack or summon. At least we killed him. 33, huh? We're not dead on this turn. You've gotta go. I'd rather get Tools of the Trade out there than play Deadly Poison. Kinda wanted to, you know, play a Burst Malaise. That would be the ideal combo, but unfortunately not having not having uh, well laid plans, it makes that nearly impossible to get. You just have to get super lucky. We lived somehow. All we need is like one amazing relic or like an innate apotheosis or something and we've freaking done it. Honestly, I know that the skewer was upgraded, but I I feel like I want attacks, or not attacks. I feel like I want the um the block. Literally the exact opposite thing. Give me a relic, winged boots. Well, we'll use one now. You know what? You can have eleven gold. You can have my literally no gold. Fight the bronze automaton. Noxious early is lovely. See if we can't get some powers out there. That's technically damage, which is why I did it. How much? I don't even want to know how much damage we're taking. <laughs> this run looks really weird. This run looks really bad, is kind of what it boils down to. I want to hit him with that debuff. I know we're taking eight. What do you have? Burst, probably? Burst, yeah. That's an easy choice. Give me a Caltrops, defend, and we are probably dead. Yeah, that's fine. It's fine, that's fine. Just a wonky run from the very beginning, getting a Lizard Tail, which is... It's... It's a good relic to have, because it's a one-up at 50% HP, but it's also a weird relic to have, because if you 
if you never use it, then you had no benefit from the, your starting relic for the entire run. And if you do use it, then maybe you wouldn't have even needed it if you had your original starting relic, whatnot. I don't know. Transform two cards, obtain a curse. Random boss relic. I do like the random boss relic because you can kind of theme a run around it, but let's just go for curse, transform, crippling cloud accuracy. Well, it means that we can go either... I really want to hit the shop. Yeah, we have to fight three elites, but it's probably still worth it. Renat, Renad's Raisin Balls. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> yeah, let's go to the shop. Hey, we can do either poison or shit with this. It's kind of interesting. Can I kill you? Yes. Now, Writhe is not that bad with Ring of the Snake. Accuracy is uh, worthless until we add in shivs, though. <laughs> I feel like if I could upgrade Crippling Cloud, I would love it. Accuracy, though, it's just... Oh my god, I can't even kill you. We're just going to take 12 damage this turn. I feel like... Um, Accuracy is just, it's, it's just worthless, isn't it? Like, we can't do anything with it until we add in shivs, and if we don't find shivs, we're getting no value from it. So, no shivs. <laughs> Let's just remove Writhe and uh, move on. Already, though, I'm looking at this run and I'm like, there's no chance, is there? I certainly hope there is. Don't get me wrong. Dino Kaden, hello, welcome. But we'll see. My ideal start for the um, the silent is probably just getting like a common relic and the common should have probably played the defend. Getting a common relic and it's going to be like the relic that gives you ten block every turn anchor, you know, or like you get a rare card and it's corpse explosion and it's like oh corpse explosion okay now I have a deck now I have a functional deck. Otherwise, I feel like the um, the block meta from the silent is just really, really slow early. And because it's super slow early, it's hard to get off the ground and get killing elites. And killing the enemies, too, because that fight took just a million GD years. I'll get in the gold. I know this is dumb, but... Again, I'm of the, I'm of the opinion that if you're going to die, go all out. You know, is 10 HP going to matter that much? Probably not. Jeez, right now, um, the accuracy is basically just a slime. You just gotta, you gotta pay one energy to get it out of your deck. <laughs> Regen potion, oh, thank you. Blur, Caltrops, Acrobatics. I'm gonna take a Caltrops. Also gonna play Regen. Um, I'm gonna take a Caltrops because we have a lot of weakness. If we can focus hard on the block, that could be a good way of um, of making this run work. If we can just gain a whole bunch of block, weaken the enemies, maybe get a malaise in here. I know we just had a malaise, but you know what I mean. Get a malaise in here. Uh, maybe we can actually just block and let Caltrops kill the enemies. We would need to upgrade Caltrops for it to be super worthwhile. But maybe, just maybe, we can make it work. So I think we're gonna live against this guy. Uh, this fight has sucked though. We have a lot of skills in our deck and a useless power, but we did kill him and live, even though it did cost us one potion, that's not too bad. I will take a Skewer. skewer Pennib could be a really good combination. <sighs> Who do you go for? Caltrops stack, yeah, they do. You know, if you have more Caltrops or uh, Bronze Scales, you get a lot of extra damage out of it. Dude, what the hell? <laughs> 
<laughs> like, actually, what is with just not drawing any blocks on any turn? Um, yeah, I mean, they do stack. If you have a lot of upgraded Caltrops, you can get a lot of damage quickly, but... You know, gotta upgrade the Caltrops and draw them and have energy to play other cards as well. Dude, Silent, what the hell? Enemy in your next three combats have one HP. Maybe this is the ideal opening move. Get that Burning Elite killed as quickly as freaking possible. Let's do it. Sneaky Sucker Flying Knee. Give me a... Give me a Sucker Punch. Give me the gold, why not? Remove a card. Okay. A little bit of free gold. Choke, dodge and roll, dagger throw. I do like dodge and roll, especially if you can upgrade it and give it a little bit of dex alongside. <gasps> Upgrades! We've done it! For the first time in this entire silent run of like this and the last four runs, we can upgrade a card. It's a miracle. This, en this enemy, if, this, if we fight the elite, it's gonna have one HP. Leave. Oh lord, that was lucky. We have mummified hands. So now we want to add in as many powers as possible. I'm okay with that. The boot. Hmm. It's not it's helpful against the birds and against the nemesis. That's pr the primary use of the boot, I think. So I'm just gonna take the sapphire key. So these guys are not gonna have they are gonna have one HP. Oh right, because we um, we actually got the relic out of that one event. For some reason, I still thought we hadn't. We want Noxious, absolutely. We will be fighting one more elite. But yeah, I'm I'm liking this so far. I really am. Boot is useless, not kind of useless. It's not actually fully useless, though. It is good against the birds, and it's really good against the um, nemesis, because you can still hit the nemesis and do good damage. Okay, we finally we finally have, like, a, a theme, something that we can build the run around. Powers, hitting, first turn vulnerability. I'll take another Noxious, absolutely. I would love to get these upgraded. Not getting them upgraded now is not the end of the world, though. Gonna do it like so. You don't want to kill these guys one after the other. You want to come at the same time, ideally. Or kill one when the other one's doing a buff. So, you are dead. Just knock the birds out of the air. It's hard on Ascension uh, 17 plus, because the birds require you to hit them four times instead of three. I mean, Caltrops is a power, and we do have a lot of weakness. I do like just having a dash for good block, especially if this is going to be Gremlin Knob. We fought the sentries. I'm going to take the dash. If we fight Gremlin Knob, we're going to be happy to have it. And we're not fighting the, the Gremlin Knob, we're fighting Lagavulin, but let's be honest, we don't really care that much about Lagavulin anyways. Shiv or one damage? I mean, a Shiv is four damage. This could be three or four damage per turn. I guess you just want infinite blades? If it was upgraded, this would be better. But I guess you just want infinite blades for just the one ship. Oh, you know what? It's affected by strength. This is not affected by strength. We're going to take this. RPG Galen, thank you for the follow. And everything else in our hand is free. So that's a pretty good turn one. Four poison per turn, three turns of vulnerability. And there's that sweet dash. We might be able to do the fight without taking any damage, which would be perfect. I mean, literally, it would be perfecting the fight. <laughs> Okay. Poison is getting stacked up. Make you weak for the next turn. Oh, we have him. We have him.
that was a very, very good sign, I think. Now, do we want Blur, Escape Plan, or Terror? A single Terror is not that bad. It's a pretty good card to have in your deck just so you can do more damage. It's not great against the bosses that purge their negatives halfway through the fight. Um, the Champ on the second floor, the Awakened One, the Time Eater. Would we rather have a Blur or an Escape Plan? Well, Escape Plan is nice just for draw and possible block. So I'm going to take that. Excuse me, I'm going to take that. It's a, a bit of a, um, a tough call, though. Hit Dash. Strike. 13 damage. Kill you. Bonk. What are we hoping to draw? I mean, that's good. It made the other strike free. So we can we can kill another unit. And then just like weaken the, the gremlin. We'll take like three damage. That's not too bad. Killing two of them and taking three damage on the gremlin fight is is not bad at all. And he, he only does five damage a turn, which is not not that much. And they're all getting poisoned. This is fine. Good. Okay, I like what we have so far. Mummified Hand, Bag of Marbles. Mummified Hand is just like straight up one of the best relics in the game. Riddle with Holes, Blade Dance, Deadly Poison. With two Noxious Fumes, Poison Enabling could be pretty good. Riddle with Holes is nice just for damage, but you know, we didn't take Terror, we kind of took Block, so I kind of feel like more Poison would be a valuable thing to add to the deck. Yeah, we could take Blade Dance, but give me the Poison. So far, I kind of like it. I kind of like what we've got going on. We'll get the Noxiouses upgraded. They're a very good value play because of the Mummified Hand. I was kind of hoping we could get one on this turn, but that's okay. Uh, I might just pop Flex to make sure that he'll flip on the next turn. How much damage can we do? 9? No, we can do 18 plus 4. We can do 22 damage. Yeah, I'm gonna pop it. I just want to make sure that he's he's not gonna hit me for 30. Guardian fight is fun. I like this guy because with our particular combination, we're very good at, at rolling him after the first couple of times because we just put up so much poison. Um, yeah, we put up so much poison that he's just gonna take an absurd amount of damage. Like, he's already at 15 poison, it's just gonna keep racking up. You find the Guardian too easy. He's tough if you don't put in blocks. This is the guy who you wanna fight him when you don't want to fight him if you don't have any blocks. If you're focusing entirely on attacks and you have a lot of weak attacks, you're not going to have a good time fighting him. We have a pretty easy time fighting him, though, just because we are kind of focused on just absurd poison and block. That's our deck. Our deck right now is poison and block. I, 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 I like fighting him because I think he's the easiest boss, <laughs> let's be honest. Uh, I think I will take an after image. It's a power. I guess they were all no, they weren't all powers. They were just all rare. It's a power. It's uh, it's cheap. We can make it innate. It'll make something else free. And honestly, I'm tempted to take a velvet choker because we don't want to play too many cards every turn. Yeah, we will get free cards from noxious fumes and after image, but you know, if I can play six cards a turn, I think I'd be happy. And with four energy, we can make it happen. I want to rest, and I don't want to give the enemy strength. Well, it's not that I want to rest, it's that I worry that if we can't rest, we might lose. So, where do we go? If we go left path, we have to fight three elites with only one rest. I want to hit up a shop. We have so much gold, we need to spend it. So let's go right here. Three fights. Shop. Question mark camp, we'll decide where to go from there. We might go to the uh, elite because there's a camp immediately after it, but let's go this path first.
having four energy is just so nice. Now we do need to add in better cards. We need to upgrade cards as well. We only have a... Uh, we only have a... Um, we, we've only upgraded attacks, really, except Sucker Punch is kind of like a pseudo block because it's weakness, but... Let me just make something else free. I'm hoping it hit the defend, but it didn't. Uh, but yeah, we need to add in either upgraded blocks or upgrade the blocks that we have. It's gotta happen. All right. This guy is dead next turn. After Image and Choker is a bit eh. I mean, you still get the block from it and it makes something else free. And it's block that is not reduced by frailty. Yeah, it's not a 10 out of 10, but Right now, this deck is, is, we get a lot of value out of playing powers. We have a mummified hand. I would love to put in a, um, well laid plans. To be able to hold cards for when we want to play them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Taking no damage. And After Image, it's not, like, After Image is not a, a combo card, necessarily. You don't have to play After Image in order to play a billion cards and get a billion free block, you know? You play it for one energy, we get the energy refund immediately, and then every card is just also one block. Like, a strike is deal six damage, gain one block. That's pretty good. There's nothing wrong with that. And on this turn, when we ha have no block, we at least get to put up six. Now, I don't want to be fighting the, uh, the Awakened One, of course. But sometimes you just don't have a choice in the matter. Deflect, Bane, Piercing Whale. Uh, I'm gonna take Piercing Whale. I know I'm kind of... Focusing a little bit, maybe too much on the block, but, you know, it would have been really good to have on this turn. Make you weak. Gain block. Gain block. Bum, 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 bum. Well, I mean, this is exactly why we want to have cards like Piercing Whale. We are going to take three, but that's not too bad. You know, if we had after image, we wouldn't be, would not be taking any damage on that turn. Can we kill you? We can do four damage, one damage, zero damage. We can do five damage on this turn, or we can gain three... Seven, nine, ten, we can gain eleven block. If we pop the strength potion. This will go to six. We can do six and then nine. Dude, I really don't want to use a strength potion against a freaking snake plant, though. I'd rather take like five or six damage. Seven. He died to the thorns. I am the smartest person alive. We have... 624 gold. How the hell do we have so much gold? <laughs> How did that happen? We'll take the egg, we'll take bag of prep, and we'll remove some cards. I, I don't know, I don't know how we got so much money, but we did, somehow. Dude, we need better attacks. Like, freaking desperately. <laughs> I know that we are kind of focusing on poison, but we still want better attacks. Okay, I'm gonna take a innate after image. We can make all the after images innate and then play them all on turn one. Yeah, yeah. This is really good. And honestly, I kind of feel like... I kind of feel like I don't want to fight this elite because of the shop here. Like if we go the right path, we can fight one elite and then do one rest, or one upgrade, I should say, right before it. We'll get a bunch of question marks as well. Maybe we'll have a better chance at getting a, a free relic, but I, I don't want to just go to the shop and not have anything to do at the shop. I'd rather go the, to the right path. Okay, 
After image. After image. Noxious. Deadly strike. Out of energy. Still fine. You're doing 12 damage. That's not a problem. One, two, three, four. I don't really care about hitting the bird is the thing. We don't have um, Caltrops, but the poison is gonna almost kill him on its own. Maybe I should have hit him because I can't kill him. Oh, we can kill him. We just need to hit him for three energy. It's actually a lot of energy. Um, tell you what. Hit him for two energy now. One, two, three. I, I don't want to take damage on the fight if I can avoid it. Strength potion might be more valuable on an elite, but we, we can probably get some potions between now and then. Choker is going to ruin this? Nah, I, I mean, I think I kind of like what we've got going on here. I mean, that's not, this is not Choker, this is Dazes, because the Chosen is a piece of garbage going up against the Silent, unfortunately. But I like what we've got going on here. Swift Potion, good enough. Um, backflip for draw, dash, or dagger spray. I'm going to go... Backflip, just because I, I know we need blocks and I was calling it out, so let's put in a block. We'll do an upgrade, continue to upgrade all of our good cards. Uh, I mean, ho hopefully they're good. <laughs> um, Survivor is pretty good. Maybe with the after images we don't really need that many blocks added to the deck or, or upgraded. Ninja Scroll. Maybe shouldn't have even taken it, because I don't know what's going to happen with the bags. Yeah, this is actually horrible. This I should not have taken Ninja Scroll. This is stupid. I'm not going to say it ruined us, but yeah, we should have just not taken it. I, I thought that they might just get discarded and we can play them in the future, but no, they're just, they're just clogging up my hand. I'd need to... God damn it! Maybe I should just alt a forward when it happened, honestly, because that is um that is just like incredibly unfortunate. That might just lose you the run. No, I mean it only loses us like the card draw from bag of prep. It loses us one relic. It's real bad though. You know we we have a we have a curse. We've added a curse to the deck. An innate curse that we can't get rid of, but a curse nonetheless. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty bad though. Um, I don't want too many escape plans. I don't want apparitions. Although they would have been upgraded, but without a well-laid plans, I still don't want them. Two, you know what? Three, four, five, six. Dump those shivs. Let's play everything. Shop needs a remove relic option. On this run, yes it does. Two, three, four, five, plenty of block. Admittedly, our first turn is um, two after images in, sh in three shivs, so we only get five other cards to choose from. <laughs> Which is a bit unfortunate. Can we kill him? Oh, absolutely not. We will draw. Barely put up enough block, but we did, and you are dead! Get our potion back. Calculated gamble. I'm gonna take it. If we can make this innate, it's one card for getting rid of the shivs, but it's also just, it's a decent card to have in, I think. Um, will we fight the elite? You know? Let's give it a shot. It is the gremlin leader. 
We know what we want. I will hit you. You gain strength, but I can probably kill you next turn. You're doing 30, 40, 3 damage. That's a lot of damage, honestly. 3... 19 to play this for three. Just gonna see what we can get. Yo, piercing whale. Good turn for it. Okay. He's probably gonna do a summon. Yes, he is. Noxious. We'll strike. Deadly poison. Defend. Survivor. You always get wrecked by this elite. It depends. Depends on your deck. Oh my god, there's three of them. There are so many mad gremlins. Just gonna put up as much block as we can. <laughs> I think we actually put up just barely enough block. Yeah, we put a perfect block. That's still horrifying though. I tell you what. I kind of want him to attack next turn. If he doesn't, that's fine. But if he does, we can probably put up enough block on this turn. Because we have backflip, dash, and dodge. Yep, that's enough block. Um, I don't really want a calculated gamble. Having a poison card on the next turn is nice. And we're actually going to flawless the gremlin leader, I, I think. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, he's dead. Dude, six poison every turn? It stacks up extremely quickly. Pen nib. Footwork. And I think I'm just gonna straight up upgrade footwork. This is a weird Noxious Fumes block deck. Unfortunately, against the champ, we will lose out on a lot of our... Uh, our capability of putting the poison on him. We're gonna have to wait after he uh, purges all of his poison, but you know, it is what it is. We're vulnerable, we're frail, sucks. Give me a new card. It's kind of hoping it would be a block. Could have also, you know, played the Swift Potion and then dr drawn a block or something, but that's fine. Noxious, strike, strike, dodge. All you need is Catalyst. A Catalyst would be nice. Burst would be a good one to add in as well. 27 damage. Well, there's a great use of Pen Nib on a basic strike. <laughs> Don't save it for a skewer or anything. Oh no, that'd be, that'd be far too much. Block. I got this calculated gamble. Dude, I need a I need a well-laid plans. I need a uh, runic pyramid or something. I need something that lets me hold on to cards desperately. Even before a catalyst, I would take a well-laid plans over a catalyst right now. Even though it would be upgraded. Ah, uh, you know, maybe I wouldn't. Now that I thought about it for a second, maybe I wouldn't, but. It would still be good. Either one. Either one. Neutralize. Dodge. Defend. Calc. Backflip. Strike. Not doing any damage with these strikes. He has so much block up, but the poison, it's killing him. So he is going to clear his debuffs on this turn. I'm just going to skewer. Get that pen nib. I don't like the champ fight. I don't like that he does, like, 80 damage if you if he gets enough strength on in his turn where you're vulnerable as well. Like, that's just annoying. <laughs> I hate dying to extreme damage like that, but it is what it is. I mean, it is what it is, but we're actually doing a pretty good job of staying ahead of this guy. 
He is not gonna kill us. Unless he does lethal. He's doing like 56 damage. This is what I don't like. I don't like when he's doing this much damage. And this is when he's weak as well. Like that's freaking crazy. How do you put up 56 block when you're vulnerable and frail, you know? That's what I don't like about the champ is that he can just he can, he can just one shot you basically. Wraith form die 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 doppelganger. Um, I mean wraith form is nice if you have the artifact protection. Die 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 is just it's card it does damage. I'll take it. I think it's nothing special though. Hovering kite no ring of the serpent yes. Ring of the Serpent is just an upgrade. Because of the fact that we have this stupid ninja scroll, we don't need the, the super massive draw from it. Getting one extra card every turn works because we actually are having a, a bit of a problem playing enough cards every turn. We have, you know, one, two energy at the end of our turn sometimes. So I think this will work fine for us. Now we do need to rest in order to get rid, or in order to pick up the key, I should say. It's fine. Four, five, six. Um, yeah, we do need a rest to pick up the key. We'll figure it out. I might just use the weaken potion here. If we use the weaken potion, I, I won't take any damage. Can't quite get the pen nib. It's gonna do a little bit of a calculated gamble here. That's good enough. Um, not being able to play both Noxiouses until just now is a little annoying, but not too bad. Two, three, four, five, six. Put up 32 block. We're a, bit, we're a bit slow, is the thing. You know, we rely on Noxious Fumes killing enemies. If we end up fighting the uh, the big giant head on this floor, we're probably going to be a bit sad about it. I still would do it, though. Purple Fire Spirits. Receive an offer based on the reward. You know what? I'll give you Die, Die, Die. I, I really didn't necessarily love adding this to the deck anyways, but if we give you Die, 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 we get 10, 10 max HP full heal. That's not too bad. Well, there's a catalyst. We're going to take it. And I'm going to remove a basic strike. This is this is a this is a poison deck. It's a poison block deck. You feel like this deck will not kill the heart. I feel like if I feel like it could, especially with that catalyst added to 3 4 Five, six. Barely enough block. You can you can give a curse to the bonfire spirits, but you get literally nothing out of it. It's just card removal. It's good because it's free card removal, but you get nothing else from it. Um, I don't think we had a curse though, did we? No, we had the the ascension curse, but that's it. Two, three, four. I should have saved energy. We could have played an attack. Most of the time, you just give them a strike. If I have a rare card I don't care about, I love giving them just a, a random rare card that I don't care about because you get you get a an absurdly good value from it. You get a full heal plus ten max HP, and if you give them a Uncommon card, one of the blue cards, not one of the gold cards, but a blue card, they will give you full heal. So you should, at the very least, just know what your options are so that if you if you have a situation where you need HP or you need a heal, you'll be able to do it. You know, you don't have to take advantage of it every run, but just make sure you uh, keep that in mind. 
Good fight. Okay, take a second catalyst. Upgrade all cards, gain 999 gold, cursed to normality. One shop, two shop. We're gonna skip all elites on this floor, gain 999 gold, and then buy everything. So, there's normality. We're gonna fight um, one regular enemy, and then we're gonna hit up the shop. It's fine. Honestly, should have played survivor to dump normality, but we still got our powers out. Now, we do have two normalities in the deck, and even after we purge the next one, we will still have one in the deck, but I think it's really good to get all of this gold. We can remove the normalities pretty easily on this floor, and then we can... Uh... Well, this sucks a little bit. Uh, we can just uh, buy a whole bunch of relics. A whole bunch of relics. Two, three, four. But I am war. Fighting the, um, the... Good lord, this is a good time for calculated gamble. Fighting the, um... Act one boss for a rare relic is nice, but we could just buy three rare relics, rare, rare relics at the shop, you know? Who cares about getting one for combat if you can just buy three of them, and they're your choice. That's kind of what I'm thinking. I'll take a backflip. So, uh, we'll buy a Panacea. We'll remove a Normality. We'll buy Twisted Funnel. We'll buy Bronze Scales. Yeah, and then we have another shop coming up, so that's pretty good. I'm not going to give you all my gold, though. We need that gold. Kunai. Extremely useful. Hit the question marks because you might find a shop. One shop, two shop. What, what, what else do I need to do? <laughs> we, have, we have everything we need. Dreamcatcher is only good for singing bowl by Dreamcatcher, his favorite. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. One, two, three. We have more than enough block, taking 18, 19, taking 29 damage. I'd rather not take any, so I'm just gonna play a skewer on you for one. Maybe we should have played the Calculated Gamble to see if we could have drawn a Normality to dump it. But it's not too bad. Can only play three cards. Defend. Defend. Catalyst. He's dead next turn from that Catalyst. Good stuff. Just playing it very slow. Panacea. Deadly Poison. Catalyst. Backflip. Sucker Punch. And turn. My favorite singing bowl combination is, of course, the um, prayer wheel, because you get two cards per combat, which is just ridiculously good. Uh, I will take another dodge and roll. More blocks, I think, is better. Can no longer become frail. It's, it's really good, except we have to remove normality, I think, which means we can't afford it, but that's still really good, potentially. I don't want to make any sort of an attack innate. I think we just skip everything else. We'll save our gold for the next shop, because there is going to be one more shop. Yeah, there's going to be one more shop, so I think we just leave it. Would've been nice, but we definitely don't require it. I'm gonna recall. Let's get the key now in case we need to rest at the next camp. Lose a strike. That's just a good one. 
Bottle Lightning. Bottle Lightning Panacea. Okay. <laughs> now, I don't know if we're going to get that in hand. I don't know if it's going to be in our hand or discarded. We'll find out. But this has been an extremely good floor. It's been a pretty good run, honestly. All things considered. So we do get Panacea in hand in between the after images. That's pretty good. We're going to play it. One, two, three, four. Played it in the wrong order. Five. Six. I, um, I will spend a week. Uh, I sp <sighs> No, you can hit me for three damage. It doesn't matter. I'll save the potion. You're not doing anything. Noxious. Dodge. We gotta be careful how many cards we play. We, since we have so many powers, it's actually really nice. We can just play a, you know, very few cards every turn. We need to play four here. Dash, defend, defend, calculated gamble. Actually, you know, give me the calculated gamble now, and then give me a uh, poison. Neutralize, escape plan, poison, block. We're just gonna wait on those catalysts until he's about half health. Noxious, dodge. He's getting six poison every turn. Well, I guess technically a plus five every turn. Ooh, 45 damage, huh? We can't play four more cards. No, we can play four more cards to roll you. This seems like a pretty good turn for that. One, two, three, four. We have four. He's at eight. Piercing Whale will mean that we take no damage. I wanted to play the Piercing Whale because he was gaining strength. 36 damage. Sucker Punch. Backflip. Dash. Honestly, I will play the Shivs. We do gain... We, you know what? Shivs? They might be useful with Kunai, but I will play the Shivs just to get him out of the deck, honestly, but it is still useful with Kunai. If we Catalyst, Catalyst, he's going to go to 300 poison, so... Backflip. Catalyst. Catalyst. You're, you're literally dead. Okay. That's why we have two catalysts in the deck against the heart. They're going to be a, a wonderful addition. Now we have 372 gold going to the shop. I like it. I like it a lot. Also, the elites. They're not going to be poison, but the Twisted Funnel will counter some of their artifacts. I'm not going to rest for two. We're going to smith. We're going to upgrade... Since we have no strength down, Piercing Whale could be a great addition. You know, Thread and Needle's pretty good. What would we do if we don't take Thread and Needle? We'd remove a card. What would we remove? A basic strike. We could remove a basic strike and then add in Toy Ornithopter. No, we can't afford it. I was going to say we could add it in for healing, but we can't afford it. We could buy Art of War. We have enough energy most of the time. But, you know, we're not always playing attacks. We're playing Dash. We're playing Sucker Punch. But there are some terms where we don't play attacks. Thread and Needle is just not a lot of block. Against the Heart, if we don't get perfect block, it's going to be ruined. It is some block, but Toy Ornithopter is heal. It's at least 10 healing, which might be better than Thread and Needle. It's an interesting one. If we buy to Toy Ornithopter, we can buy something else, but I don't I don't want anything else, really. None of these, I think, are worth it. You know, we could buy Toy Ornithopter Essence of Steel and then have Threaded Needle, <laughs> effectively. Because it's four-plated armor. We can't buy them both, unfortunately. Um, dude, this is an interesting call.
It's gonna take Toy Ornithopter and nothing. I really wish we ha we could stock up on more potions because we have 160 gold. We're not doing anything with. Um, is our deck set? Yup, as set as it's ever gonna be. After image, after image, panacea, dodge and roll, survivor. As much block as we're gonna get, we are gonna take a little bit of damage. There's no point in playing calculated gamble because we can't play any cards after this. I feel like I will play the weakness potion because this guy's gonna do a massive hit on the next turn. That means we're taking very little amount of damage. We're taking three. That's not too bad at all. Now you're hitting big on this turn. Footwork, Noxious, Deadly Poison, Defend, Dash, Skewer. Seven damage. Okay. One, two, three, four. No point playing anything else. We can't play anything else. They're slowly dying. All we need are the catalysts to show up, and then we can start catalysting these boys. There you go. Three, four, five, and uh, I like those cards next turn. Give me a defend. Cool, so one of them is dead, the other one is gonna die in a turn. We're doing very well so far. We're gonna gain a little bit of dex as well. Still wish we had well laid plans. That's okay, at least we do get six cards every turn. Three, four. And I do love getting six poison every turn. It's stacking up wonderfully. Um, well, I mean... We have pen nib. I, I guess we would prefer to keep the pen nib active, but it, it doesn't feel like it's gonna do that much for us on the next fight, but it is better than not having it, I suppose. So... Bird face turn, a little bit of extra healing, love it. Nope, don't want him. Okay, heart, here we go. We don't care about being at full health. We're gonna open up with Panacea. We're not gonna become vulnerable nor frail. Gotta love it. Also, that's the only damage we're gonna take from uh, from playing cards, because we're gonna play the second after image as well. Three, four, five, six. I know that's a waste of pen nib, but we need him out. You like how I can remember Choker but not Pen Nib. The thing is, Pen Nib doesn't matter. Like, what do we what do we care about Pen Nibbing a skewer for 30 damage? This this is a poison deck right now. You know, what do I care about whether or not I waste it on a shiv? It doesn't matter. However, um, Velvet Choker, it's easy to know if you're gonna hit Velvet Choker. Just count to six. One, two, three. You know, you can, you can count that. I'm gonna play another ship of the decks up. I wanted the powers. We had to play Panacea and we had to, oh no, we are still frail, we're just not weak. Um, I wanted the powers out more than anything else, even over one decks. You know, we, we, we played Footwork for three, so. I don't remember Pen Nib even in a strength ironclad deck. Well, then it is what it is. One, two, three. Four, five, might as well, six. Felt like I, I didn't gain a lot of block on that turn, but I think we did. Might wanna try to draw through some nastiness. Yeah, like I really wanted to get rid of the void. 
and I also wanted to be able to apply the weakness on this turn, so I think that was a pretty good call for, for the potion. We also got the value out of the heal. One, two, three, four, five, six. Taking no damage. Um, he's not going to be artifact protected next turn. Still want to wait a little bit on the catalysts. I'd love to get, you know, 15 poison at least before we catalyst. That would be perfect. One, two, three, four, five. Sure. One more catalyst, he's at 100 poison. That's more than enough. One, two, three, four, five. Very good amount of poison, good amount of block. He's four strength up. He's not gonna kill us on his, his big turn, I don't think. I think we are in the clear now. We do have some dodge and rolls coming up. I, I w really wanted them on this turn so that we could roll the block over for the next turn, but that's okay. That, that's one of those things that if we had a well-laid plans or a runic pyramid, we could more easily play the perfect blocks, maybe take no damage against this guy at all, but it is what it is. We're gonna take two damage. Not a problem. Getting salty about my ability to count to ten. It's much easier to count to six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You're dead. You, you you're dead in two turns. <laughs> I never, he never pays attention to me, remembers my birthday, notices when I get a haircut, spends so much time playing video games. Hey, it's a nice little notification that pops up in the corner of my screen whenever you do a, uh, a resub. It tells me how long it's been. That's why I know it was a year. Well, you're dead. Uh, that was a great fight against the heart. Poison power catalyst. We were able to get a Panacea Innate, which protected us from the vulnerability, and we picked up a lot of gold. We've done it! Finally! Ascension level 17 completed as the Silent, next level 18. Victory. So, how did this run start? Mummified Hand. Well, let's let's go to the, uh, the screen, we can actually take a look at things. 2,083 points, it's pretty good. Um, yeah, Mummified Hand. Then we could take powers, we could play powers, get energy refunds. Um, let's go back to the statistics. We picked up Mummified Hand from... Upgraded Sucker Punch. The Dead Adventurer. We got very lucky on this event. Um, because we started with Niao's Lament, which gives you the enemies in your first three combats have one HP, I was perfectly willing to fight an elite to get a relic, because we were just about to fight another elite. But because we got Mummified Hand without fighting the elite, we could actually uh, kill the sentries in turn one, which was just absolutely amazing. And then the uh, the next elite that we fought, Lagavulin, we took no damage on. We, perfect, we perfected the fight because we had two Noxious Fumes. On this run, we had two After Images, two Footworks, and two Noxious Fumes. They were our only powers, but they were enough. Lots of block, lots of, well, more block, and then lots of poison being stacked up. A couple of Catalyst sealed the deal, turned it into a Strength deck. Sorry, Poison deck, not Strength deck. And it was uh, it was an outstanding run. Ninja Scroll. I should have realized that it would be funky with Bag of Prep and Ring of the Snake. However, I really just wish that the shivs were at the the end of your draw and they would get discarded because they weren't. We ended up kind of ruining our turn one. Except it wasn't that bad because we still had, you know two and eight after images and then a couple of other cards we could play and it, it, as a matter of fact the run was so strong that we ended up taking very little damage on the entire run then again we didn't necessarily fight too many enemies in fact we only fought like four enemies on the third floor once we hit that event that is um yeah mind bloom obtaining two, two normality for 999 gold it's basically oh we don't need to fight elites I love that event because if you have two shops, 
just take the gold, go to the shops, remove your curses, and then just buy whatever relics you want. Buy cards, you know, buy potions. It's my favorite event because a lot of people with this event, they love going for the fight a random, fight a boss, you get a random rare relic. Sometimes the random rare relic you get is just completely worthless. Take the more interesting route. Take the gold, take their normality, and go to shops, remove them, and then just see what you can buy. You, you can buy more than one rare relic. You can buy three, because they're probably about 330, 350 gold each. It's a good event. I love it. It's a good run. Lots of poison. Toxic Egg was a good addition as well, just because we could actually add in some upgraded um, skills. Although we didn't add in too many. Piercing Whale, Dodge and Roll, Backflips. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, those are the only, like, defensive skills we added in. Yeah, we had an escape plan and a dash. Yeah, we had after image and footwork. But really, that, that was enough. Those are, those powers were enough to give us the block every turn that we needed. It's a wonderful, wonderful deck. Good run. Finally got a little bit lucky. I mean, we got very lucky, let's be honest, because that was kind of a 10 out of 10 build. We only took 23 damage against the heart, and we healed a lot thanks to Toy Ornithopter and Bird-Faced Urn. If we were... Knowing that we would get bird faced earned, I probably would have taken the uh, the other relic, the one that gave me the plated armor, but I still think Toy Ornithopter is fine, because it is healing, which is effectively four block every turn, because it's not four block every turn, it's four, then three, then two, then one. Tough call, though, on that last shot, but everything else was just wonderful. Anyways, good run.